was a lively debate, but LeBron James ranks third the NBA in scoring thus far this season. And when they're lined up next to each other, as far as the numbers go, he's the clear favorite in an MVP conversation between these two. But he's four games back of Kyrie Celtics, who have reached 20 wins thus far. How much will that matter? I have a question season? for you. Yes. If Cleveland comes back and wins the East and LeBron number stays like that, and James Harden and the yeah. Houston Rockets win the West, and his numbers stay where they are, Who's your MVP? That's what's so t uh, If James Harden and the if Rockets James win Harden the West. James Harden and the Rockets win the West and Cleveland win the East and LeBron James putting up unbelievable numbers. Karan, I was sitting here talking that. He, it, it, one day we're going to discover that LeBron's an alien because <laughs> after right. 15 years, he never gets hurt. He's getting better before yeah. our eyes. The older he gets, he's not slowing down. He's leading the league in minutes played and his team is on like a 10-11 game win streak. Right. But James Harden, Maybe he, his little brother's an alien because <laughs> look at what he's doing. So who wins it if those two scenarios happen? If James Harden wins the West and his numbers stay where they are because of the competition that they faced and because they would have to take out the defending champions, James would get my vote. Okay. How about you, Karan? I'm still going to say LeBron James. If he can keep this up, like you said, he's an alien. 15 years in, you're looking at guys that took out James Harden in the MVP discussion over the last couple of years. Steph Curry that had out-of-body performance for two seasons in a row. You look at Kevin Durant as well. You look at Russell Westbrook having a, a triple-double for a whole season. I mean, it's, I hate to say it, but LeBron's doing this in 15 years what, in. This is special. What about co-MVPs for this reason? Look, LeBron James is the victim of his great, how good he is. Right, we take it for granted. Yeah, we year take it for We year, expect that. Year. And now we have to say we're starting to expect that from James Harden. So when you look at these two guys, and, and I agree with you, they take out Golden State. You're talking about a team that the last, two, the last three years has been unbelievable. But then you look at what LeBron is doing and leading the league in minutes. And if they come back and overtake Boston and win the East, I, I think James Harden, you, you just can't discount him again. And then you just can't dis discount LeBron James. So then it comes down I can't to choose between what them. your vote is based on. How much do the wins actually matter? Because last season, Russell Westbrook, with this historic averaging a triple-double, the wins didn't matter as much, even though James Harden's Rockets were well, better. Mattered, Russ but still they got my vote. To me, they made, to me, it mattered that they made the playoffs and that what and Kevin Durant goes to Golden State and was the best player on that team with Steph Curry being two-time MVP. So for him to get that team in the playoffs and win, what, 47 games? To me, that was a miracle because there's no way I thought they would win 47 games. And he averaged. And Kron will tell you this. Remember when we came in the league and somebody had a triple-double? That's all we talked about in the locker room all day, right? And he averaged one. And he one. averaged one. I never season. in my life thought I would see a guy average. And I thought if, if someone did it, it would be LeBron James or Kobe Bryant, somebody like that. Not a guy six foot three. And, I, and that's the reason why I respect it so much about LeBron because Kyrie goes to Boston – He's leading them, number one in the Eastern Conference. But wait a minute. No Derrick Rose, no Isaiah Thomas, Tristan Thompson out, and LeBron is still getting it done and putting up even and better numbers. And leading the league in minutes played after 15 years. And now Amon Shumpert's gone as well. Yeah. Now Amon Shumpert's gone, and he twists his ankle. He, he shakes it off. He comes right but back. But <laughs> James Harden is doing something that we've never seen before the last two years also, so you just can't discount I think sometimes there's a legit argument for co-MVP. I think so because it's a disservice to both of those guys if, if one of those if those two scenario plays out. How do you choose? Because both of them last have season. Played. If there wasn't an argument for co-MVP last season, then now to me, but he averaged a triple double. Christian, you gotta understand. Us as players, you don't understand that triple double, we live to get one. I never had one. How many did you have? I had four in my career, three or four. But would that ever be done again where a player averaged a triple-double for a season? Average. I mean... Will that ever be done again? And they won 47 games. And they lose arguably the second best player in the league that goes to a team with the reigning MVP, and he's better than him. Are you guys telling me we're actually going to give James Harden the second place vote again? No, I'm saying co-MVP. I, it I could just happen. Can't. It could, but I would hate to see that happen to James. He's he's just he's not just putting up numbers. They are winning. They are crushing people. I mean, it is unreal what he's doing. He's I putting on a demonstration night in and night out. And he had Chris. He didn't have Chris Paul for almost 15 games yeah. of the season. So he's he's making it happen.